What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we have some house projects going on. We recently just got back from vacation. Addy had spring break, so we went down to Florida. We went to the beach. You wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> we went out the beach and had fun. We played in the sand, went in the water, and we went so far in the water. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was so fun. Uh, kids never really have been to the beach before, so that was really fun. So yeah, we have some house projects going on today, and we thought we'd make a video and take you guys along. So we hung these ferns after the last vlog. I was so jealous about the ferns, so we ended up hanging ferns on our front porch. And this one has a bird's nest inside. Uh, when did it start building the nest? Like a couple like weeks right ago? Right after we put it in. <laughs> yeah, and so I just opened the door to come outside, and the, the mom bird flew away. So we're just gonna take it down and check on it without touching them. We're not gonna like yeah. bother the nest, but I wanted to quickly show you guys. Just be really Snake careful. No other birds in there. Yeah, just be really careful. Check Let's it see. out. Mm. There's six eggs in there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, <laughs> put it back before she comes back. We just thought that was the coolest thing ever because I don't know, how cute is that, that a bird, like a little bird, built a nest in our fern. Just stopped by the Airbnb. We built this fire pit yesterday, and today we wanted to get some chairs for it. Anthony is currently killing the grass around it because we're just gonna leave it as is for right now. We're not gonna like rock it or anything. Maybe in the future we'll do that, but for right now, like this is fine. These chairs are so dang cool. They're just like plastic Adirondack chairs, and we have these at our house, but we have the ones that are like leaned back more. But these, have these like swivel cup holders, which is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we got six of those and those will just be staying out here. Oh wait, that's cool too. So it has a little cup holder and a phone holder. And this says, look, that says glasses. Sunglasses. And this is keys. It's genius, <laughs> absolutely genius. We have a guy coming today to mow our lawn because the lawn, the grass grows so fast at this house, like way faster yeah. than our house. It's I think like it's just like weeds. mostly weeds and that's why. But yes, looking a little bit overgrown, but we're gonna get that done today. And AJ keeps saying, fire on please. Fire on please. Fire on, fire on please. <laughs> <laughs> Standing from over here, the grass looks, like it looks like a wild jungle out here yeah, right now. It kind of is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just gonna stack all these chairs over here where there is no grass so the guy can do the lawn. But I was just gonna tell Anthony what I think we should do for the landscaping in the future. As of right now, I think we're just gonna kind of, we may just do some like pavers or something out here, maybe like a picnic table. But ideally what I would like to do is put like a floating deck out this way, mulch that entire area, rock it or something, cause this is all like, you know, the AC and stuff like that. Do a floating deck out here and just do like a lounge area out here, like a nice seating area. What do you think? I think that sounds great. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day. We were out way longer than we anticipated yesterday. Like we were just out shopping and I guess just enjoying the nice day, but it got stressful because like the kids were just getting crazy while we were out and yeah. So we did get some fun stuff that we're gonna like do around the house today. We got a couple of fans. We got a fan for outside because last year during summer was so bad. It was so hot because we didn't have a fan. So we got an outdoor fan and we got a fan for AJ's room now that he's in like a big boy bed with an actual comforter and stuff it can get hot in there so we got him a fan and then we also got um some cute stuff for our back patio like some like decor stuff okay so i actually don't even know if we talked about this last year but we built a sectional last year and we ended up getting rid of that this year and we're like totally redoing this whole space we pressure washed our rug the other day we just got this recently we had this from last year but we just got this little table recently there's so much pollen Oh my god, we just cleaned it. Oh my god, I just cleaned it. Um, but yes, we got these yesterday. I'm gonna put another little plant in there. That's really cute. cute. We have a sectional coming um, in a couple days, mm -hmm. which we're very excited about. We also put some lights up around the whole perimeter, which we really like. And then, this might just be my favorite part of this entire patio. It's not open right now. I know it's not open right now, but this is blue-eyed grass and it opens and closes every single day. And I'm obsessed with it, it's so pretty. So all these flowers open on a sunny day every morning and then they don't really open sometimes when it's cloudy out and today is kind of overcast so they're not open. But I wake up every morning and I come check on this plant because I love it so much. Yes, this is our fan that Anthony is going to install. 
and I'm going to assist. Can you reach it? <laughs> <laughs> Just barely. So stinking cute. <laughs> Get the ball in. I can't get the ball in. Can I do anything to help you? I don't know. <laughs> Can you? Ha! Nice. So, of course, we had to leave in the middle of the project because our like big ladder was at the Airbnb and we only had our like step ladder here and Anthony couldn't see the wiring above the fan. So we had to go get that. We ended up going on a shopping excursion while we were out, of course. <laughs> we got some uh, Bath and Body Works stuff for like the house to make it smell good. And then we also got a cubicle thing for Addie's room. I'll show you. So Addie, right now has a dresser and I honestly just don't really love the whole dresser vibe in her room because her room is not giant. So we got this cubicle thing with nine cubes um, to go in her closet so that she can have all of her clothes in her closet and just have more room in her bedroom. And then I also wanted to show you guys the flowers because when we got back, it was like really sunny and the flowers I was talking about earlier opened. So cute. Oh my gosh, they are just my favorite thing. I, like this makes me so happy that they're like, oh, the sun's out. Let's come out. Let's open up. Anyways, Anthony is going to continue on with the fan. It does look really cute. Yeah. It just got really dark, but it looks good. And maybe I'll just build the cubicle. You're so dark right now. Oh, you have to click on it. Wow, look, you look like an angel because <laughs> it's literally just blown out. You can't see anything behind you. I may go build the cubicle while you finish the fan. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. Okay, Addie's room is a train wreck right now, but I finished the cubicle. It looks really cute. It fits perfectly. So all of her just leggings, comfortable shorts and things like that are in there for her to get. Then that way we can get rid of this dresser and we're probably gonna move that cause it's like narrow back over here and make this like an entire lounge reading nook for her. And Anthony is in AJ's room working on his fan. And we painted his room green a few weeks ago and I love it. I'm seriously obsessed. His room is so like boyish. Cute. And I love it. Um, we have this fan in Addie's room. We also have it in our guest room and we had it in our old house back in Port St. Lucie. If you remember that, we actually, I think, vlogged it, didn't yeah. we? Installing the two black fans. One, one thing Shiloh reminded me of, all the, these have a little like code and we forgot to change the numbers when we installed it in Addie's room and the guest room. And so when we would press the button to turn the fan on, it would go on in the other room. And Addie was <laughs> so, freaking out. She was like, oh, my light turned on by I itself. <laughs> and she was freaking out. Um, but yeah, we do really like the fans once we get them on their own separate channels. And so we're going to finally put one in AJ's room because he has a big boy bed that we recently put him in. And he has like a really like nice, heavy comforter. Whereas in his crib, I kind of had him with a light blanket. So I want to make sure that he has some air circulation in here for when he is sleeping on hot nights. Kids' rooms are done, cleaned up Addie's room. Addie painted this in school and we just love it, so we hung it. And we moved her bookshelf over here. <laughs> She's like a little Picasso. I know. And here is AJ's room. Originally we weren't gonna keep that print, but I decided I like it. I'm probably still gonna add like a couple little posters or something over here, just above his bed. Cause I really wanted like just posters on the wall. You know what I mean? Like yeah. not prints, like in frames. But I decided I kind of like it. it. matches his bedding and stuff, so. Super cute. Here we got his fan up. It's yep. cute. And I realized I haven't shown you guys the outdoor fan. All right, so here is the outdoor fan. We love it. 
It's gonna come in handy in the summer and it is gonna be like super cozy out here once we have a sectional. Hello, we just got back from picking up dinner. I'm so excited, we're eating pho tonight. We haven't had pho in a hot minute and it's one of my favorite meals, which I'm sure you know because we have had pho on the vlogs plenty of times. Yeah. And then, because the kids are not home tonight, we are gonna start on another project because it's so much easier to do projects when the kids aren't home and we're like on a roll. So. It's a date night for us. <laughs> it is a date night for us. So we're having pho, we're gonna have some wine and we're gonna work on another project. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. Little pho appreciation. Ooh, oh I just my it. god. Hey. It's all over. You got that everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So the underneath of the cabinets are unfinished and I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. So I'm going to paint that white. We just got a really basic white and I'm gonna paint underneath the cabinets all the way around so that it doesn't look unfinished and it matches the cabinets. Last night, I ended up getting all of the under cabinets painted. Of course, I didn't think about this one and I totally missed the one <laughs> above the fridge, so I'm gonna have to do that later, but I had to end up using chalk paint. I started using regular paint. It wasn't sticking to it. It the is bottom of laminate. the cabinets are laminated, so. Yeah, and it was not sticking at all. So I used chalk paint and I had to do three coats and I think it looks pretty good. It didn't need to be perfect. I just really wanted it to be white so that from like back here, if I'm taking a picture, it just looks finished. And yep. I really like how it turned out. And I wanted to talk about what I was doing last night. Not done yet, but we, um, installed this old door. Don't and mind our messy pantry, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we installed this old door and the door handle does not line up with the old hole there. So I started filling this in. I put a piece of wood in the old hole, wood glue, wood filler, and we need to make a new one. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a new one, probably about right here. But you know, just another door scenario, like the last vlog. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for doing housework with us. We have been working so hard over the past few months with the Airstream and the Airbnb that we have totally neglected all of our house projects. So it was kind of yeah. nice to just not have the kids with us yesterday and to be able to just get everything done that we've been wanting to get done for months. So that felt really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.